Let me tell you something about LGBTQ rights, about trans rights. This is only going in one direction. You will respect us. You can be upset. You can be angry. You can think it's unfair. You can feel like we're stealing something from you. But it's still only going in one direction. You will respect us. How about no? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. And we are back. I'm afraid so. It's that time again. We're back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And I hope you guys have prepared yourself for some absolute insanity, stupidity, dumbassery, douchebaggery, tomfoolery, idiocracy, whatever you want to call it. We're bringing it in today's episode of Epic Woke TikTok Fails. TikTok mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. Everything woke turns to shit. Okay. <laughs> no truer words have ever been spoken. Wow. Um, so as you can see, once again, we are being joined today by everybody's favorite social justice warrior, Triglypuff. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Having a medical episode, trying to fly. I don't know. Anyway, before we jump into it, we got a crazy video today. Like usual, uh, it gets to a point where... I I don't know what to say about this stuff. I'm at a loss for words. Um, where these people come up with these things, how they, like the thought process that goes into making these TikToks is beyond me. So I'm not even going to try to uh, make sense of the nonsensical. So before we get into it, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video. We've got three sponsors of today's video. So first of all, today's video is being brought to you by number one, Eddie Pipes. Eddie Pipes has been a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes for quite a while now. Always showing all kinds of love and support. In the comment section, Eddie just got married. So let's give a huge uh, round of applause for Eddie. Congratulations on your marriage, sir. On your marriage, sir. I'm very, very happy for you. Thank you for all the support, Eddie. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Once again, this video is also being brought to you by Steve Harla. Um, you might remember Steve just sponsored the last video I did. He's brand new to the community. Um, just, I don't know, I think a couple videos ago said he was going to go through and binge watch. Steve, careful binge watching these videos. It's not good for the mental health. <laughs> but uh, he said he liked that, that last video so much he wanted to sponsor this one as well. So Steve Harlow once again sponsoring his second video in a row. Thank you so much, Steve. Greatly, great, greatly appreciate it. Super happy you're a member of this community. As well as, once again, Count Anthony Landis. Sponsored, he sponsored a few videos, just one recently, and uh, County Anthony Landis wanted to give a shout out to his podcast, so we're going to do that. County Anthony Landis' podcast is Anthology of Horror, so after you get done watching this video, if you want to go check it out, it's called Anthology of Horror. Thank you so much, County Anthony, Anthony Landis. I can't talk today. I'm <laughs> watching too much of these woke TikToks. It's got me stumbling, bumbling, and mumbling. So, Eddie Pipes, congratulations on the marriage, sir. Steve Harla, super happy you're a member of this community. County Anthony Landis' podcast, Anthology, Anthology of Horror. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for sponsoring today's video. You guys are keeping this ship afloat as the YouTube's overlords are trying to sink us if you'd like to sponsor the next video there's a paypal link in the description box below i will say your full name as a sponsor of that video unless you want to use a nickname username if you want to shout out a podcast a channel somebody else however you want to do it you're the sponsor that's how we're going to do it so thank you guys so much i greatly appreciate all the love and support if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button become a member of the greatest community on the youtubes that's you guys. I wouldn't be here without you guys. You guys keep me motivated, inspired, and the comments keep me laughing. I do want to apologize. I've seen a lot of comments disappearing lately. That's not me. I don't do anything to the comments. The over your overlords at YouTube, they delete them. It drives me crazy, but all right, I'm done rambling. Let's get into it. All right, we're going to start it off with this person who is, I don't know, offended by her country. Uh, you can always move. Roll the film, please. If you're a Republican or a patriot, I don't wear this hat in public now because I'm so disgusted at what people think it stands for now and what you guys have made it out to be that I don't stand with that. I don't associate with that at all. But I'm just trying to wear a hat because I didn't wash my hair today and I 
have to go to Bible study, but like now I have to go back home and change because my son made a comment and he was like, Mom, that hat looks good on you. Even though like, you know, I was like, even though what? He goes, you know, like, it's Republican. And I was like, that's it. That's it. I'm going home. I got to change. <sighs> Boom, bam. That's how you fix that. <laughs> you were literally too stupid to insult. <laughs> I mean, what do you even say? What do you even say to a lady that uh, she can't even wear a hat that says USA on it? I mean, I don't know. There's, what, 196 other countries to just go. I mean, what's what's the point of... You know what? Moving right along. All right, next up. This one's a little late. This is uh, this was from before Halloween. These are one of those people that gets upset at a Halloween costume. Roll the film, please. As Halloween is coming up, this is your annual reminder to not dress as an indigenous person for Halloween. As you are brainstorming ideas for what to dress up as this year, I encourage you to ask yourself these questions in that process. One, am I misrepresenting or degrading indigenous cultures? Two, am I reinforcing stereotypes? Three, am I generalizing customs and traditions of indigenous people? And four, am I fetishizing them? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> See, this is all nonsense. Nobody... <clears throat> so, the whole time I was growing up, all the Halloweens I went through, whether we dressed cowboys and Indians, whatever we dressed as, nobody cared. It's just this this whole new woke stuff is everyone's concerned about <clears throat> other people's Halloween costumes. So this person wants little kids before they dress up for whatever, if they're going to be in India, if they're going to be whatever, to go through a checklist. You want these kids to go through a checklist to make sure they're f not fetishizing? What? What? You want people to go through a checklist? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Let's say I say dress up however you want on Halloween. Doesn't matter. Don't if people are upset about it. If people get their get in their feelings about it, that's on them, not you. Enough of this. Moving right along. Sorry, I just I've seen uh, some stories about schools canceling their Halloween for kids, and people can't. I think that these people want to cancel Halloween and. As a kid, I loved Halloween, so it's, uh, seeing these woke fools like that make me, uh, don't make me too happy. All right, let's see what this, uh, gem has to say. Roll the film, please. I wish Donald Trump didn't exist. I don't mean I want him to be unalived. I just wish that he had never existed to begin with. Because if Trump didn't exist then people couldn't idolize Trump. And if people couldn't idolize Trump, I could still be around some of my family members. Hey, bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Uh, so it's this, this lady thinks it's her family's fault that she doesn't go around him because, I, whatever. Like I said, you can't make sense of the nonsensical. Keep it moving. This guy looks excited about something. Roll the film, please. I just got my booster. A little Joe juice. A little Biden bump. Woo, go Joe. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> wow. Uh. <sighs> Moving right along. I don't understand a word of this next one, so I'll let you guys try to sort it out. <laughs> it says, I'm going to rehash this conversation. Butch women cannot have to toxic masculinity. Roll the film, please. I'm going to rehash this conversation. Butch women cannot have toxic masculinity. And honestly, if you think anything otherwise, I kind of think that you're homophobic and don't see butch women as real women because they are masculine. Toxic masculinity isn't just about being masculine and being toxic. Toxic masculinity surrounds the idea that men are benefiting from a system of masculinity. 
Butch women are directly fighting against the gender roles that toxic masculinity wants women to conform to. And honestly, if you still think that butch women can have toxic masculinity, think of this. What are the traits that you would consider toxic masculinity in butch women? Now put those same exact traits in a feminine woman and tell me that you wouldn't see that as internalized misogyny. What you see as toxic masculinity in butch women is literally just internalized misogyny. And the only reason you see otherwise is because you see masculine women as lesser women. What does any of that mean? I, listen, about three to five seconds in, this is all I heard. Blah, 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 blah! (laughs) <laughs> so yeah, there's a minute of my life I'll never get back. Uh, moving right along, please. <laughs> Alright, next up, they're just finally admitting they're okay with being called it. It. It, it's, and itself. Roll it! And if you've ever been curious about these pronouns, this video is also for you. My friend is so cool to come to my party. It's exciting to get to know it better. It's drinking a raspberry tea, which I've heard is its favorite. If you want to get it a refill, it's using the mason jar. It didn't have to dress itself up for my party, but it looks great, so I'm not mad. It should be really proud of itself for trying on these new pronouns. I know I'm proud of it. Ha! That's it! Hold it right there! Pronoun trouble. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Jesus Okay, uh, moving right along, please. All right, listen, guys, we are almost done. A quicker than usual video today. Uh, life's getting crazy, so but I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Wanted to come on here and give you your uh, daily dose of brain decay. <laughs> well, every other daily dose of brain decay. Um, you're welcome. Once again, a huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video. Eddie Pipes, congratulations on your marriage, sir. Steve Harla, grateful to have you in this community. County Anthony Landis podcast anthology of horror. Thank you so much, guys. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the greatest community on the YouTube. You guys already know it. Like that comment section up. Smash that thumbs up button. Share this video out. We're not going to let them hold us down here. All right. This uh, this little ditty here is... uh. I'll let you decide. Roll it. If you're cis and you won't date trans folks, you're transphobe. Now, if that made you mad, maybe it's your prejudices that you need to probe. No matter the reasons you've got, you're reducing us to when we disrobe. And that kind of thinking ain't sophisticated. It's more like microbes. I know you think you've got good reasons, maybe you do. Trauma's real, it's hard to heal, I'd never say that that isn't true. But transphobia's transphobia, and you won't get a pass when we're through. We're human beings, not sex organs, cis lesbians, I'm talking to you. Mother, it's a man, baby! Well, I thought she was a man. Man, she is rather mannish. If that is a woman, it does look like she was beaten with an ugly stick. <laughs> so if you're a cis and you won't date trans folks, you're a phobe. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I don't. Let's uh, keep it moving. I don't want to get myself in trouble here. Moving right along. All right, this next is just a real quick clip. This These parents dress their kids up like the ne- the shot needles, and they even put the uh, big farmer names on them. This one says Moderna. Watch the one behind says Pfizer. Roll it. What the fuck is going on? Wow. I don't, I, it's mind-blowing to me that all of a sudden people on the left like became shills for big pharma. Like it's uh, uh, it's poor kids moving right along. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it on this video now. This is it's just an all too similar scene that we've been seeing. Um, we're showing clips of this happening in Seattle, Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York City, 
Chicago, this is Chicago. Once again, once again, people walking into Walgreens. This is a Walgreens, I believe. CVS is all these stores. These people just walk in. Broad daylight. No weapons, which is a good a good thing, I guess. No one's getting hurt. And they just stealing stuff, stealing trash bags full of stuff, walking out. No one's trying to stop them. No one's phasing. It, it's ridiculous. Now, the one thing they all have in common, every single one of them has in common. We said it before. It has to do with color. It has to do with color. And you will see in this picture exactly what I'm talking in this, excuse me, in this clip, exactly what I'm talking about. Roll the film, please. No way. Look at this. Six one hundred Milwaukee. Oh my God. Every single one they're taking. This is too close to home. Look at this. Take a picture when they go out the door. And then you look at Chicago. What's going on in Chicago? I said the other day, what the hell is going on? Democrats. <laughs> it's just unreal what is happening in these cities. Just complete lawlessness. Now, I said what they all have in common has to do with color. And there it is right there. So if you see this guy, he's got a black hoodie on. Now, the other guy doesn't. So one thing we've noticed about every one of these... All these stores getting broken into, these people doing the thefts, the robberies, the stealing, whatever you want to call it, uh, shoplifting. All black hoodies. They're all wearing black hoodies. Um, besides that, I can't tell. I, I can't see any other commonalities. I don't know if you can or not. Um, all right, guys. That's a wrap. All right. Anyway. Quick video today, once again, thank you to today's sponsors, Eddie Pipe, Steve Harlan, County Anthony Landis, and thank you guys for coming back, um, like I said, I'm going to try to get a video out every other day for you guys, life's a little crazy right now, but uh, I got to keep you guys updated on your woke TikTok insanity, so thanks for joining me today, and once again, if you're new again, hit that subscribe button, become a member of the greatest community on the YouTubes, we're just about at 7,000 subscribers. The channel's growing. The community is growing. I'm excited to see where we can take this. Thank you all so much. And listen, things are getting crazy out there. The uh, Kenosha kid, I, can't, I don't even know if I can say his name here, Kyle. The trial has started with Kyle and Kenosha. Uh, things are going to get real dicey when that wraps up. Um, all these elections going on. Things are getting crazy out there. So just stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And in the words of the great George Washington, stay strapped or you might get clapped. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace.